So let's talk about how a loader finds the addresses of functions exported by a DL DLLs, all right? So what loader does, it takes the P header of our uh, DLL, parse, parse the, 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 these headers, get to the export directory, all right? And in export directory, there is a structure which looks like this. And in this structure, there are a couple of more interesting fields than others, okay? So first, there are three pointers to three arrays. Um, the first array uh, holds addresses, like the RVAs of functions, uh, which are exported in the DLL, okay? And this array is called export address table. The second array holds pointers to, to the names of the functions which are exported, all right? And the third array is, it's called like a, it's an array of indexes of to EAT, uh, to a export address table. But for now, just remember that this is an array of numbers, okay? So the first array is array of pointers. Uh, the, the second one is array of function names. And the third one is the array of numbers. That's what you need to remember right now. There is also number of functions field, which holds the number of um, elements in the export address table. So the number of exported functions, all right? And there is also number of names, which is the, the, the number of elements in both uh, the array of, of function names and the array of these strange numbers, all right? So these two arrays, uh, the sizes of these two arrays are, are similar. And lastly, there is also a name field holding an RVA to a string with the name of the DLL, all right? And there is also a base field, which holds another kind of number. And this is the first ordinal number of the DLL. So let's, let's take a step back. Um, the DLL can export functions in two ways. Uh, it can export them by name, so you can see, you know, this particular name like get proc address or uh, load a library, right? But DLL can also export functions using ordinals, uh, which are just basically numbers, okay? And this base field holds the first ordinal, which is exported from that DLL. Uh, we'll get back to this later. Now let's see how these three uh, arrays uh, correspond and how the parsing is done. So we have three tables pointed by a structure in export directory. Now, how does a ploader parse these arrays? So let's say I'm a ploader and my task is to find an, an address of a function called name3, okay? The only thing I know is the name of a function and that the address I'm looking for is somewhere in one of the three buildings I was redirected to from PE header, okay? So we have three, th three buildings, top, middle, and bottom, or let's say blue, yellow, and orange, okay? And each building consists of rooms we, whose uh, um, numbering starts from zero, okay? So we have room zero, room one, room two, room four, room seven, and so on, okay? So what do I do? I go to the yellow building and start to uh, check each room starting from room zero. So I go there and I see name, name zero, okay? Which is not what I'm looking for. So I go to the next room, right? Room one and check the name there. Same result, no hit, okay? So I move on to the next one and to the next, you know, up until I find the room with the name of a function I'm supposed to find, okay? If I check all the rooms in the building and none consist, you know, my function name, I get out and say, sorry, there is no one here who has that name, all right? But in our case, I get lucky and name three sits in room three, okay? So what do I do next? 
I take this room number, which is three, okay? I get out of this yellow building, go to the bottom one, and I go straight to the room number three, okay? This one. I don't have to go through all, you know, all the rooms as I did in, in, in the yellow building, uh, because I have a hint that in room three of orange building, there's some extra information awaiting and allowing me to find, you know, and as a as, end result to find the address of the name three function. All right. So what I get there, I see number four, right? Aha. So now I need to go to the top building and not to the room number four. All right. So I, I, I do that. I go to the room number four, which is zero, one, two, three, four. And there's a reward for me, which is an RVA of a function name three. All right. So this is basically the process PE loader goes through each time it wants to resolve an address of an exported function. Okay. Now, what about the situation where I don't know the name of a function, but I know the ordinal of the function. Okay. So in this case, my job is super simple. So let's say my ordinal to look for is six. Okay. Now I just take the base number from export directory, this one. Okay. And let's say uh, base equals one. Okay. I subtract that from my ordinal that is six minus one, which gives five. Okay. And that's the room number in blue building with an RVA of a function I'm looking for. Okay. Of course, before I, I do all that, I need to make sure that the ordinal number is not less than base number and is not greater than total number of rooms in the, in the blue building. Okay. So it's not, uh, the, the ordinal number is not uh, greater than number of functions in the export directory structure. All right. So that's basically how exports in PE files work. Now let's jump to a VM and take a closer look into one of the DLLs from Windows. And for this, we will be using our favorite tool, which is PE Bear. All right, so let's um, let's parse kernel 32.dll. All right, so we open up. It's in Windows System 32 kernel DLL. And let's use the same header header file, win and nt.h, and we let's exp export directory. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, so we go to op uh, optional header, we find the data directory, and now we have found the uh, the address of export directory. So let's follow this. And what we have, we have first four bytes are char char uh, characteristics, right? All zeros. N the next one is timestamp, four bytes. Then we have two word f uh, fields, major and minor version. So one, two. Then we have a name, okay? name here so it's 09415a so we can check that so it's 09415a okay and we can see this is kernel 32.dll all right so this is the the, the pointer to uh, to rva to our name of, of the dll so this was this next we have a base also four bytes and uh, the base is one so it, it means that the minimal ordinal number from that dll is one right then we have number of functions which is 065d and 06 let's calculate that so hex uh, 065d is it correct? 65D. So it means almost 
uh, over uh, 1600 functions okay in the table 06d uh, 5d right then we have number of names which is the same right like this one and so all three are arrays uh, are the same size okay and then we have our three pointers to three arrays like this is this one is for export address table this one is for the array of name name uh, function names and this one is for our ordinals uh, number of uh, array of numbers right so we click if you click export you can actually see all this parsed already for us so characteristics name also points to yeah we've checked already we've checked that already net basis one the, the the sizes are the same and we have our three uh three pointers okay now so let's take a look at oh we actually don't need that anymore let's take a look at uh array of function names uh, function pointers uh, so if we go there the first element is 4 byte rva is 9 41 7f so it's this one okay the second element is also 4 bytes rva 9 41 5b which is this one then we have the third element 0 1 e8 60 which is here and so on and so forth right if we go to array of functions function names we have these rvas so these are pointers to to strings so 0 9 41 67 it's here and if we go there oh, we can go there from here it is acquire SRW lock something something exclusive okay and then the next one is this one the next field is here 0941A0 and and so on and so forth okay so this this column is uh, filled with uh, values from that array and lastly we have ordinal uh, uh, this uh, strange as i call that strange array of numbers it starts from zero and it uh, each uh, element is two is a d word so two bytes so it starts from zero one two three four five and so on and so on okay and if you add base one to each element from that so the ordinal for the first function is one which is here the second one is one plus one that gives two and so on all right this is how it how it looks there's a one catch here um, if you take a closer look here you might notice that some of the rvas are particularly high it's 941a 7f 9418b5 right Comparing to 1e, so these uh, these addresses are low, so to speak, but these 94, 94, 94, 94, 94 are sort of strange, right? So if we go there, so normally, if we if we if you click, so let's take uh, atom uh, add atom. Uh, a we land in text section okay and we are in a uh, in implementation of that function okay but if you go here follow you don't you land in our data somewhere in our data and actually this rva points to a string ntdll.rtl acquire as our rw lock exclusive function 
This means that if someone wants to call the function, this function in our, um, kernel 32.dll, it will be re redirected to ntdll.rtl to this function. Okay. So loader or parser has to, when, when it finds that, that kind of string instead of RVA, it, it needs to go to that DLL, so load that DLL, uh, the, the called forward, forwarder, okay? And parse that DLL looking for this particular function and uh, resolve address of that function and return the, uh, the address of that function as the address of this function, okay? So that's, um, that's how it works. And how does the parser knows or, or the loader knows that it's a forwarder and not like a, a regular because you, you, you just can't tell that it's a, it's a forwarder or not. There is no special field uh, stating that this is a forwarder or, or this is like an ordinary uh, address. And the check is uh, done really simply, uh, simple uh, by checking if this RVA is within a range of export uh, uh, data uh, di uh, export directory. So if you take a look, so we we are talking about nine four seven one seven F, right? So if that RVA is within the range of export directory, this uh, this region, so it's it, this region starts from 90, 100, 190 and is is goes up to 9 d uh, d e something something all right so if this address is within this range it means it is a forwarded uh, um, is it a forwarded function and it points to a string not a, 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 a real code okay that's basically how this trick works you can also see the same information without PE bear, but you can use dump bin. Okay, so if you go to here and use that with exports parameter, uh, so we Windows system 32 kernel 32.dll kernel let me pause this. So this is how it looks like uh, when you parse all the, all the data. Okay, so you have the ordinal name numbers, right? The hints. So these are actually values from from this strange array of um, of numbers. Okay, these are called hints, and then we have uh, RVAs of um, of uh, functions and the function names, and if any of uh, RV any of the function is uh, forwarded, then you don't get the RVA because Dumbin doesn't do uh, like the forward uh, resolving. It will just say that uh, this particular uh, function is uh, is implemented with an NTDLL uh, library. All right, so this is how you can use dump and dump in to uh, get the same information. So, yep, this is how you can parse uh, export address table and find and resolve functions uh, function addresses.